Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Weighing in at 112 pounds <laughs> from Salt Lake, Kentucky, the Southern Spitfire himself, Your whole life. Yeah. Now you're fucking. That's my kind of shot. That's my kind of shot. The only shot you're gonna get is my cum shot, bitch. That this is this is all the what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. We are. Oh no, no, that is that is Megan's claw. That is Harley's signature move, Megan's claw. That has been outlawed. I'm not gonna let you push me around anymore. I'm gonna take back my show. Yeah. You're not taking you and what army? <laughs> this army. You gotta fight your own bat. You gotta oh, get some. Fuck to that! Fight. I'll bring it back to your bitch ass. You want somebody? You get me. The special without Brett Davis presents Special Mania. Leader. Dolce. Selena De La Renta, Keith Elliott Greenberg, The Nobodies, Dave Meltzer, American Spitfire babyface with a heart of gold, feet too fast to catch, a Kentucky Fried Fine for him, then I can rat next Tuesday, a smile that'll break a glass heart and he'll build little pieces, baby. Step to me, you must be cubs, I got bunches and bunches of kicks and punches with your name on it, brother. That's right, I'm a man of pride, I'm Kentucky Fried and I'm rock and roll personified. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. I'm Bobby Blaze. And welcome, welcome to Special Mania. That's right. You know, uh, if you saw it out on 10th Avenue, they got the big WrestleMania banners up. Uh, WrestleMania's coming. Oh, uh, okay. May have some WWE contracted talent, but it, <laughs> that's why I, I like it because there's a lot of other shows happening. Ring of Honor, New Japan, gonna be at MSG. There's MLW shows. There's Impact Wrestling shows. There's a a a, 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 a Joey Ryan party. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot of wrestling here uh, this week, but this week kicks off right here with Special Mania on the special without Brett Davis. <laughs> Unfortunately, Brett Davis couldn't be here. Uh, he is a uh, 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 rehab. <laughs> but I'm glad that uh, the reins were thrown to me because honestly, uh, I've been through a lot. Uh, in my career, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry to just bring it down like that, but it's something to get off, get off my chest. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I injured the pinky. <laughs> uh, I lost my smile. <laughs> um, the my self-esteem is shot because the ED. <laughs> But you know, I always thought that what I had going for me was that I would always rise above. The blaze craze would rise and Bobby Blaze would be on top again. But unfortunately, uh, you know, sometimes uh, fires just get put out. And, uh, you know, I have some news to break. It's my blazers, my blazettes, my blaze X. Um, and of course, my little dipsters out there. <laughs> Especially the ones with uh, brain rot. <laughs> Get your tissues, America. Uh, I, Bobby Blaze, am here to announce that I am retiring from in-ring competition. No! 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 
I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No. I, you know, that's not what what the, tonight's about. We got a lot of great guests, and I don't want to take up much time. But uh, you know, there's there's a lot I didn't get to do in my career. You know, uh, never got to face the man that trained me, Boogie Boogie Bingo Blaze. Uh, <laughs> Nor did I get to wrestle my trainer from across the pond, the Tunbridge tosser, Zack Sabre Sr. <laughs> I never got the grudge match with X-Pac. I think some of you saw when we, uh, I made fun of his groin. Um, release the footage, True TV. But uh, I think the thing that everybody talks about, you know, when I'm at the conventions and stuff, I'm gonna hear it all the time. Uh, why didn't you ever face uh, Harley Tucker? This is a man that broke onto this show on multiple occasions. You saw it, Jack. Uh, Jumpin' Jack Silbert, everybody. Yeah. Uh, he, 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 he always uh, caused a ruckus. In fact, I'm, I'm surprised that when I say Harley Tucker, his music doesn't just hit, but we're good. Well, that's, a, that's not Harley Tucker's thing song. Wait. My oh, God, that's latest music. Stop fucking your rules, on the biggest week about in wrestling, right? I mean, you can't go down like this. Well, I mean, what, what better week uh, to really just uh, uh, not compete? <laughs> <laughs> take, take a load off, uh, maybe sign some autographs. You know, I was... I can get behind that. I, I yeah. love meeting my fans, you know? It's, it's just that... Uh, Let me see this pinky, though. Oh. <laughs> I feel okay, okay, okay. I feel, like, I feel like it's, it's okay. I can medically clear that. Well, it, it's... it's, it's um, it, it just doesn't have the dick stare. I don't want to get into it. I'm not a doctor. I, I look, just... look, I mean, you are the second biggest star from, like, uh, wherever you're from. So, look at that. You can't. Uh, Bath County VFW uh, wrestled over 60 matches there. <laughs> no, 61. What? 60 is such a nice number to end off on. And, you know, it's, it's everybody wants me to face. This, one this... more match! No. One, one more, more match! One more match! One more match! One more match! One more match! We don't need one we don't need to match. do that. You know, uh, uh, I I I have a future ahead of me. I'm gonna be an influencer. <laughs> yeah? I, ju I just I just post about cologne and then they send me free cologne. I think it's a, <laughs> it's a nice lifestyle, Lita. I mean, I'm not saying you couldn't use it, but I think you're better than that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I have an odor. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you retired. And yeah, you did I, a lot of other things, but then you got back in the ring, you know, years later. Maybe, yeah, that's, maybe that's what I'll do. When Harley is, you know, locked behind bars forever. <laughs> you can't go out. I, I think it's right here, right now. I think this should happen tonight. Just one more match. <laughs> Are you saying you're not ready? Well, I, I, I'm, I'm wearing my tight pants today. I got, I got, my, I got my button down. You know, I, I would have worn my pads. I would have worn my, you know, patriotic gear and stuff. I, I, I know the pro that you are. You bring your gear everywhere. Yes. But they always tell us that, right? Yes, that's right. Do you have your gear here tonight? I got my gear here tonight. Well, well, well you know, maybe you could have one more match. Right, well, come on. They're chanting. Look, I, I see what you're doing. I, I, see, I see you feel the blaze craze coming at you. The heat's almost too hot. I feel the blaze craze. Yeah. I just, it's, it's, it's facing Harley. And I don't know if you know who this guy is. He's a, he's a criminal. He, he, comes from, he comes from Rikers Island. That's where he was born. He was born in the butt hut. It's, it's, it, this is just not, I'd, look, I, you're, Harley once kidnapped a child fan of mine. Uh, he mutilated my rear end with a chainsaw. Oh. Um, and, and also, he, he's just a bully. He's just a big old bully. And, and if, you can't get, let him get away with that. If we're gonna be 
Is Dave Meltzer watching? No? Okay, you're one of the boys. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, we as an, uh, the as a Prio the Motors, uh, Pizzut, uh, Mizzy, uh, is in, uh, Mizach, uh, Wizza, uh, Rezesselers, uh, Vize, Tazel, Mizzy, uh, uh, Tazo, Pizin them, and, uh, they, uh, they let me. Uh, but bizarrely, to Zucker, we don't do that. Bullshit Bay. Bullshit Bay. Bullshit Bay. Bullshit Bay. Bullshit Bay. I think you should start training right here and right now, as in drop and give me 20. Can I, music? can I borrow? Can I borrow twenty dollars from you? I, 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 you seem like you should have the 20 money. Twenty push-ups, good form, elbows in tight. You know. My, the pinky. Release the pinky. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm above this. I'm above this. I don't need to do it. Okay. I don't need. I don't need to. You still got it. He thinks you still have it. You still have it. Still Look, I'll do, I'll do push-ups for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not the kind they do in your town. You gotta get that cardio up. DDP yoga. DDP yoga. Come on, show them how it's done. Who can show me what a burpee? You. You do a burpee. I saw you chanting harder than anybody. Yeah, you in the war, sir. Yeah. Burpee, 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 I'm running out of ideas. What can we do to motivate you here? You, you, well, you can't I, go out. I want to ask you a little bit about your career. All right, let's take a seat, because I, God damn it, I'm <laughs> fucking exhausted. Oh, excuse my language, mama. So, um, what does the women's revolution mean to you? <laughs> I feel like this is a bit of a stalling tactic, and, although, uh, I mean, this is where we ask the hard-hitting questions, questions I've never been asked before. Who is your Toughest opponent. <laughs> um, what else you got here? I, I, I mean, I, I thought I thought What's this was it like to be a woman in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if we're getting a little Frost Nixon here, but I'm just trying to ask some <laughs> questions. You know who the toughest opponent was? It was myself. When I thought that I couldn't go on anymore, but I knew I could. Just like I know you can. Yeah. I know you got this. I know you've got one more match. One more match in you. Well, I'd, I'd have to make an open challenge for that, and I don't you... think, I don't think anybody's here tonight, but. <laughs> I, su I suppose well, we could... if you want to come to Eminem Studios and make an open challenge to me, uh, you know, Salt Lake, Kentucky's only a quick 30 minute drive away, so <laughs> come on over. Uh, Jumpin' Jack will gladly interview you. Happy to do it, boss. Oh. <laughs> so I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do an open challenge. Yeah, is that it? Just goes like that? Yeah. Say it like you mean it. I... Hey, you. I want, I want to make an open challenge to anybody that wants to have Bobby Blaze's final match. Uh, come on over to Eminem Studios, and uh, you have to go through Lita first. Yeah! Is that, 
Or do you, you could just go with me. <laughs> we, we got a huge show tonight. Woo! Yeah, we do. Special guests here. Uh, let's let's start out with a, a little bit of style, a little bit of class. Give it up for Lady Berica Andrews, Ariel Tally, from Nobody. These are the hosts of Nobody's Watching Wrestling. Oh, thank uh, you. You two review uh, various wrestling shows. Uh, you, you've got a, a unique take on uh, uh, looks, on, on personas. Uh, and I, I just wanted to see if we could go through sort of the history of uh, wrestling, you know, jump around a little bit and get, get your takes uh, beyond just what happens every week. Is that cool? That's so cool. <laughs> Give it up for Lady Berica and Ariel Talik. What's, what's not cool is I was told somebody stole our other mic, and you never take a queen's mic. OK. okay. It was there me! We, thank you oh, so much. Well, thank you, you, you so much. Well, you're allowed, I suppose. Thank you! <laughs> so so uh, when, when you review things, I, I know like a lot of people say that uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Just tweak it a little bit and it's the greatest wrestling show on television. Uh, what, what, what sort of parallels do you see between like the drag world and the wrestling world and where do you fall in in that spectrum? I mean wrestling is basically drag. A hundred percent. I don't know what else to say about it other what than that they're the exact same thing. <laughs> Uh, what does accident report say? He says... He's not here. I don't care what he says. <laughs> He's the I third nobody that's not even here. Yeah, I would just say that uh, wrestling is just a performance of masculinity. Drag uh, is a performance of everything. For male wrestlers. <laughs> I, uh, and then for, uh, for women's wrestling, I think it's a little more complicated because there's like... I, I mean, Lita could speak to this more than I could, but I think there's a way that you're asked to sort of do both. You have to be the toughest and the most, like there's like, you have to be the best of all things. You're asked to do a lot more. Like male wrestlers just have to be like some tough dude. Yeah, but <laughs> some male wrestlers actually have sex appeal as one of their biggest attributes. Uh -huh. I do have to say what you're wearing today, I would wear. <laughs> And I'm going to be stealing it after this. Thank uh, you so fair much. Fair enough. Like I said, I have an odor. You can have this. <laughs> we could do a trade. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be great for both of you. <laughs> I'd like to start this off with saying I know nothing about anything, so uh, that's it. <laughs> well, we've selected some uh, looks for you to peruse and uh, give give a uh, give us a take. We actually have a an old photo of Alita. Is this uh, from Trash and Vaudeville? Uh, a photo shoot, so uh, how, how would you rate this look? And we can just circle through these. Uh... I don't even have to look at it, it's just everything. I mean, it's obvious, it's kind of perfect. It's a really bold makeup look. The pink fuzz Fur, is real cute. White uh, boots, makeup, those squiggly pink things. I, what were those? Pipe cleaners. Pipe oh. cleaners. Oh. That's drag, oh. make it work. <laughs> See, I like, even if drag you... race is not necessarily drag people. There, yeah, I have nothing more to add. <laughs> Let's take a look at another photo. Oh. Okay, so I was going to say that I wouldn't mind critiquing you to your face, and I feel like this is, uh, this is not the strongest look that I've ever seen. That's, uh, I just see a lot of sex there. Do you? I do. Lots of sex, lots of love, lots of respect happening. I don't feel like... <laughs> I, there's... He's got his hand, I don't know who that is, but he's got who his hand that? at a respectful place. <laughs> no, it's... You heard it here first, Lita doesn't know anything either. 
That's not what was implied there. Oh, um, you're right in front of this picture. You're gonna block uh, this person who we don't know. Um, he's very important. Someone learn his name. News. That's the that's the that one. Guy. Yeah. yeah. What 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 they said in high school? I could have fit into that leotard. Oh. Um, I. Yeah. Hot topic. I don't know <laughs> which ABBA cover band from the late 90s this is, but I definitely had their album uh, and dreamed about boys to it. Um, yeah, this is, um, well, uh, everyone's real smoothed. I, well, almost everyone's real smoothed. Uh, it looks, it, everyone's yeah. it's pretty smooth. I love the mesh, I love some mesh. They do too. I love uh, the pink. <laughs> It's a color story. It's We're really a telling a story. <laughs> what story are we telling? Oh, yeah. yeah. That, I have this. that is mesh that tells I have a story. That, that in is my the mesh. That, that mesh has a whole soap opera written in it. I yeah. feel so many feelings. I'm uh, the like, thicker the mesh, the bigger the story. Um, yeah. Uh, they don't. They shouldn't call them plot holes because that's where the plot is. It's in those holes. Um, the there's empty space. This says everything. Theater. I I would watch. I would watch that outfit for uh, six seasons at a movie. <laughs> oh yeah. Look, uh, when you've got like a lace moment going on, a bold red, like what else can you say? Uh, like a, a good high hair, like this is all a, a beautiful red lip. Everything here is perfect. I also love some titties. <laughs> <laughs> that too. That, that's a good accessory, I it's guess. Good accessory. Like, the hair I, looks great. I, I'm about, uh, yeah, this is uh, perfectly done. The eyes. Oh. She looks good too. Were yeah, you happy that. with your bobblehead? I don't feel like it's a very accurate representation. I don't either. But I mean, it's better no, than the bobblehead I don't have. We should sue. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're so much taller in real life. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, I don't know. We're allowed, are we allowed to swear on this show? That's yeah. cool, right? Great. I, I can say shit on this fucking show. I did the fucking research. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, do, we, do you want us to say anything else about anything? Well, you know what, we're gonna check back. We got some more historic photos to take a look at, but uh, I think we're gonna keep the show moving along because we got a lot of show here tonight. Um, I'm getting word that we actually have a challenger uh, that is, has, has come. Uh, uh, he, let's see who it is. <laughs> have been coming out of the woodwork hey. after this challenge. Jack, how about you stop flapping your goddamn fucking gums for one second? <laughs> oh! I'll put my 10-inch shoe up your ass and you'll be a jumping jack, all right? You'll be jumping up and down this uh, 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 studio, now, you stupid fucking son of a bitch. Now, now, what, now, wait, now wait a cotton-picking minute, which you used to say when you were a simple country boy. Yeah. Bubba Bibbs, but now apparently you went to the Far East and you're a we don't cyborg. Say name no more. Cyborg Bubba ninja. Bibbs. Hey, oh, hey, some sort of Bubba Bibbs. some sort of King Tut character. I'll tell you the story. Me and my wife, what, my what, my now ex-wife. <laughs> took a trip to Egypt. She got one, one of those, uh, uh, she did one of the Ellen. She was on Ellen. She got a free ticket to Egypt. We're out there in Egypt. I go on one of these tours, right? You know, we want to tour around town. You know, I go to a lot of these uh, bazaars. You know, they have these little, uh, you know, stuff like that. Popular package deals. So yes. I, go, I go buy one of these things. They're selling DVDs for cheap, too. I mean, you kidding me? DVDs are not cheap. <laughs> I pick up come of my, a couple of my favorites. I pick up uh, Jackie Chan, uh, Rush Hour 2. Is that the, 
Is that the PAL format or? I don't know. Hey, hey, hey! I didn't ask you to speak. Anyway, I got these DVDs in hand. Finally, we get to the Great Pyramids of Giza. I go, holy shit. Well, I want to climb up the top. I don't know that that's something you can well, do. Well, finally, finally he said something right. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's right, uh, Jack. Apparently, you're not allowed to do that. But no one fucking tells me what the fuck I can't do, okay? So I climb up that fucking pyramid. I'm on the top of this fucker. And all of a sudden, a, a, a goddamn thunderstorm happens. I get electrocuted. In, in the desert, a yeah, thunderstorm. Yeah, it hasn't electro uh, uh, Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, probably 10,000 years it hasn't since, rained. Since Moses, yeah. yes. It's raining cats and dogs in this bitch. I get struck by lightning. Cats All this are... Ah! Cats are sacred. In yeah, Egypt. exactly. Yeah, right. Okay. I get struck by lightning. All of a sudden, I feel the power of uh, all the uh, uh, Egyptian pharaohs from millennia, and also the Jackie Chan DVD, giving me kung fu abilities. I come out of this fucking Egypt, man, a new changed being. No more is there Bubba Bibbs. For now, I am cyborg, Sheik Ninja. And let me tell you something, Bobby. Let me tell you something, Bobby. When you let me get the final match to retire as, because just like the pyramids of Giza, there are three pyramids, and then there will be three, the, 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 the ref, three pyramids. The ref will get, shut the fuck up, let me finish. The, the, the ref will count three, like the pyramids. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, and then one more thing, and then yeah, one yeah. more thing. Uh, and then and, 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 and I'll bury his ass. And who better to bury? Who better to bury someone than somebody who know, is Egyptian and knows how to, because uh, they did mummies. They uh, invented mummies. Speaking of, uh, speaking of mummies, Bubba, uh, maybe we should wrap this up. Yeah, wrap it up. I'm gonna have to disqualify him just because he seems to be anti-America. But on the open challenge, you didn't state anything about disqualification. Okay, no, no. Do you need to reissue the? the I'm challenge? gonna reissue the yeah, challenge. Right. Uh, uh, n none of that. Uh, so our next guest, uh, you may know him as uh, the the Walter Cronkite of professional wrestling. <laughs> Take it away, Mr. Jokes. From San Jose, California, he is the Wrestling Observer. Look at oh. that picture! Oh, oh my yeah. God! Uh, no, nobody's. Uh, any, any, any notes on, on, on this on. photo right here? Hold on. Oh, oh let's get. We got only so one oh mic that works, I guess. Uh, Train back and forth, worth it. Um, I. That's want you. To talk about so much of this. I, first off, <laughs> oh, this is the hair that Kenny Omega wishes he had. Oh, this wow. right here is what he was going for for all those years. And he never quite got there. If you could tell him how to how to achieve this, is is it a moose? Is that what we're doing? Is it a moose in there? Nice job having the same. You're shaking your head like you don't know. It's growing out of your head. That's your hair, sir. Is that a wig? Come on. No. No, Come it's your hair. So, um, what are your secrets? And then. Um, the rest compliments of this. on having the same sweater that everybody had in the 80s. <laughs> no, that everybody has now. I have and got, everybody has now. I've gone on dates with men dressed like this. Though. I have gone on second dates with men dressed like this. <laughs> it looks like, like one of the strokes. It's good. Uh, <sighs> thank you, one guy. Uh, uh, Dave Meltzer. Uh, yes. Uh, what, for the non-fan, what's the easiest way you could distill what the Wrestling Observer Newsletter is? That's a really good question. I just write about wrestling every week, like all day long. 
Mm -hmm. So there you go. Now, what's your schedule like? Because I don't know if people know about the world of wrestling right now, but there's about 60 uh, hours of wrestling on every day. <laughs> you report on all of it. It seems that way sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up with the, all the stuff you can watch streaming. That's so good. I think that's the one thing that's so great about this time period is just there's so much, the quality, there's so much stuff that's really good all over the world that you can just you know, push a button and watch. There's, you got so much access to, to stuff. Like when I was doing that stuff in the 80s, you know, you, you had to trade these VHS tapes. Now you don't have to, you know, and wait weeks to, to see these matches that were not in your like local city. You got a big shed of tapes, right? I got a big shed of tapes, 10,000 at least. Digitize yeah. that stuff. Oh my God, they probably, they probably don't even work anymore. I haven't put one in a, I, I don't know, who, who has a VHS player? I do. I do. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just VHS! We'll go on a little tape trade after the show. Yeah, really. So, uh, I think something that the Observer did was it introduced a whole new type of fan. Uh, people that really like reading on, reading about like what happens behind the scenes, yeah. which is often more interesting, I'm sure you could attest, uh, <laughs> formerly known as Lita. Um, uh, I, like, uh, t what, is, what has it been like to sort of lift the veil? Because uh, I know, like, is it true that in the 80s uh, there are some wrestlers that would find out about like shady promoters through your newsletter? Uh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were a lot of shady promoters in the 80s, too. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Cocaine! Yeah. Cocaine. What? Yeah, don't do it, kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and wh wh what are just some of the... If you, if you could just say, like, off the top of your head, things that come to mind as dirty little secrets of the wrestling business. Oh, God, I don't know. I mean, there's, it's... It, I mean, it was just... It was just a, a wild man business, you know? It was, uh, you know, crazy cowboys and people like that. It's 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 so different now. I mean, as far as like uh, the structure and everything of the of the matches and everything, but the type of people are different. I mean, they were. I think the people were a lot wilder and more colorful, but they also had a lot of excesses that that um, you know the guys don't have. I think it's health, It's much healthier now. You know, I mean, that's one thing I'll say. Well, um, although they kill themselves in the ring now too. But for you, they do it for this man. No, uh, they don't. Dave Meltzer is the. Uh, <laughs> The, the judge, please, jury, please, and executioner please, please of kill professional yourself, wrestling please. careers. Uh, the, you, st you, when, you started the star system. It's very controversial. People get really worked up over it. Um, it's like the least important thing that I do is the star system of wrestling. Formerly known as Lita was just cursing you that uh, you haven't uh, given, a, given her a five-star match. You actually... I don't know if you know this, but you gave me a negative three-star match. <laughs> that takes talent. It takes talent, and I'm a big man for even sitting here and uh, <laughs> talking to you tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now, I'm a big fan of territories. Uh, I'm a big fan of you know, rock and roll Ricky Morton and uh, you know, Marty Jannetty, Midnight Rockers era. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, the toughest of the tough. Uh, and it seems like we're almost getting to like another territory system now because we've got we're all more, these more smaller different promotions. Type, more different. There's just m tons of different companies, but not like it's it's different world than the territories. It's more like, you know, they may promote like a show a month or something like that. And and every yeah, every market's got their local, their local indie and actually many local indies. That, but but nobody's doing like five shows a week or anything like that. I don't think you can do it financially make it work. We are here at WrestleMania week. There's uh, every promotion's kind of doing their own show. Oh yeah. Uh, what what is what is your week been like? Because you just wrote a I newsletter. Just I just showed up. Yeah, I just finished the newsletter last night, so yeah. I just showed up today. So so you you wrote uh, thirty pages all by yourself. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> I'm not saying that like he morning. can't write by himself, but like <laughs> he's done this every week since 1980. 82. 82. Yeah. Uh, Woo! So, so, so your your week is crazy. You're not even staying for WrestleMania. Oh God, because I have to watch it twice. It's too. It's, you know, it's not like it, like it's not like it's bad, but a seven hour show twice is just too long. I already know what I'm going to write about WrestleMania. A lot of good matches, and it was too long. Make I've been watching it saying that every. Oh, yeah. make it too I'll late. tell you what. I said that last year after after WrestleMania. I go like, why don't they split up to two three and a half hour shows? It'll be so much easier and. The talent won't have to go out there in front of this audience that's so tired at the end. You know, like you go out, you go out there after five hours. Oh, 
Jeez. Anyway. I mean, I, I could actually actually ask you both about this. Um, uh, why hasn't the WWE hired, say, a Bobby Blaze? <laughs> Competition's too tough. I, I mean, I think tonight might be your night to prove it. You, they're they're looking for extra bodies in the ring, especially after, uh, everyone goes and kills himself at WrestleMania. Wait, you're saying that I could be tussling with Michael Che and Colin Jost this summer? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, D Dave, what's your favorite wrestling match of all time? Kenny Omega and Okada from uh, June of last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gave it, it you, was seven stars. Seven stars. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna be bad. Yeah. <laughs> so does that retroactively make every five star match like a, 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 a now like? I don't know. I don't. I, I've never think of it that deep. Other people do and go, oh, look what you've done. It's like all I know is the best match I ever saw, and I once gave a six and a quarter, and I'm sitting there with my friends, and I go, what do I do? And they go, seven stars. And I go, yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> Does that make you the pitchfork of wrestling? <laughs> 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 oh, fucker. Oh, no. yeah. the fuck is the Dave Meltzer of music? Uh, that's right. Uh, uh, what, what do you like? <laughs> what? Like, just what do you like that's not wrestling? Do you like me? Oh, do you God. Like me? I don't know about that, but... Oh. 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 You do. <laughs> okay. Um... I just I'm immersed in wrestling, but no, I mean I like I like all sports. Mm -hmm. um, I like movies, you know. I, you know. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. That's a real tough one. You don't have that loaded. You've never been asked that before. I, nobody asked me anything except for wrestling questions okay, and, and martial arts questions. So, um, favorite movie. Let's just go with the uh, original Rocky. Oh, how's okay. that? That's a good one. All right. All the presidents, man. God. What's your favorite band? Ancient. Favorite band? <laughs> Oh God! You know, I don't grew, say the Lucha Gores. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. You two, maybe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, well, the nobodies. Uh, do we have uh, some some more looks queued up for the nobodies to review? Gosh, I hope so. I Gosh, do I have a drag so. name for Dave. Oh, oh. Well, oh, there we go. Curvy Star. Oh. Curvy Star. <laughs> You're welcome. That, obviously. I was, yeah, I just like, I'm brilliant, basically. <laughs> I, I hope it's not a comment on his body, because this, this he's a swole man. A very swole man. <laughs> no, starring on a curve. Swole, swole. Oh. Swole? Swole. Well, so I'm going to review The Abyss, yeah. which is really all I do with my drag at any point, is to talk about what it means to stare into nothingness. <laughs> we all felt that, right? That moment where this is, we're close to the end. Uh, that's what wrestling's about. Wrestling is about being close to death. <laughs> As we all are at any moment. Well, I mean, walking down the street as a queer person every day. Yeah. Oh my God. I should apologize. This show is the, the done on is a really negative cute. budget. Um, anyway, am I seeing you on? Are you wearing these pants? No, that no. Uh, Just checking. They could be under his jeans right now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't let them off. Let them off. Let them off. Okay. Let them off. I just want to pick whose butthole I'm close to. You know? like, I just want whose to butthole is this? Raise your hand. <laughs> we know you're here. Stop oh man. Um, it's a, uh, I, I don't want to say anything bad about this because uh, it is your uh, Shayna Putnam. The but construction like, is terrible. This is... <laughs> the construction of these pants is terrible. No, just don't do this anyone. Everyone, don't do this to no, anyone's face. No, put faces on pants. I disagree. <laughs> Moving on. But make them better. What's next? Are there, is there more? Or is that it? I can talk about these pants all day if I have to. Well, Don't <laughs> challenge me. We are, we are dealing with some technical difficulties, so we'll come back to you. This person okay. good. I'll be here. I did. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, sorry. I'm Thank sorry. You. Thank you. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, it's, it's our biggest, uh, biggest show ever tonight. <laughs> Mania. Hey, look how far we've and come. it seems like uh, Mania. I got another... Uh, Mania. Seems like I got another challenger coming, so... Uh, Let's see who it is. Uh, oh, dear Lord. Hi, 
it's it's me. I'm cruising Susan. And you know I love boozing. When I'm in the ring, I'm never losing. And Bobby Blaze, it's you I'm a choosing to get a bruising from me, cruising Susan. But Susan, in the wake of the Me Too movement, why Bobby? Why a clean cut Salt Lake fellow like Bobby? My son was taken from my car in a stop and shop po parking lot in, in 1983. My beautiful son, Jimmy, he had beautiful blue eyes and he was taken from me in 1983. B Bobby Blaze. Yes. Bob Bobby Blaze, I'm cruising Susan and when I'm, you're gonna get a bruising. Cause from me, I love boozing. Please help me. Uh, he announces retirement and you're challenging him to a, a fight, a match. The New York Giants won the Super Bowl in 1983. <laughs> and, um, and when my son was taken from me, that was the last time I felt true happiness. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Medicine, New Jersey. Me Medicine, New Jersey? I'm from Edison, New Jersey, and I, mi I miss my son. Oh. Well, um... Bobby, I would say this is a possibility. Did, I, I think we'd all agree that inter intergender wrestling is inherently uh, awful and, and terrible, um, right? So, I mean, I'd, I'd have to disqualify Cruz and Susan uh, also, you know, uh, uh, I, I don't know if I'd uh, stop myself from falling in love with her. <laughs> How do you feel about that, My son had beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> like Bobby Blaze, who I will give a bruising, for I am cruising Susan. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we, we can't do this. I'm real sorry. We just got to keep the show moving along. Uh, uh, my next guest uh, is the empresaria of Promociones Dorado. Oh, yeah. fra straight from MLW. Give it up for Selena De La Renta. <laughs> Strong grip. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry, brother. And there he goes. Uh, uh, Selena De La... Oh, oh cruising. You got to go back. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just a... Uh, that's my chair. Uh, welcome to the show, Selena. Uh, uh, Rick, thank you for joining us. A surprise appearance. A low, low key uh, the pinky. Remember how I said the pinky? <laughs> he, uh, re the, the injury. Uh, another reason to just not wrestle again. Uh, you are uh, the, the top power player in MLW. Is that correct? That's 100% yeah. correct. Yeah. So uh, what is uh, Promociones Dorado? Promociones Dorado is a little bit of everything. We have TV, film, movies. We do a little bit of everything. It's a mix of martial arts, um, Thug life, you could call it. <laughs> what is thug life? I've, I've, heard, <laughs> I've heard a couple of the commentary people call it my thugs, and I just think it's funny. So whatever they're referring to, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I, I ain't referring to that. No, well. No, I am. I'm fine. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so so when, when, they, when wrestlers come out uh, in MLW uh, that you represent, uh, or it's always a, Selena De La Renta presents. Uh, wh why is that? Well, because I'm not a manager. I'm okay. a power broker, and mm -hmm. I'm representing talent from all over the world, Latino America. So okay. that's so, why. So, so uh, all over the world, would you ever represent a guy like me? Uh, I'm afraid that I'm here to be honest and you just don't fit in. Uh, f fair enough. Uh, 
So, so some of the some of the wrestlers that you've uh, represented, uh, I don't want to bring up anything, any bad blood or anything, but uh, 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 Pentagon, uh, L, L uh, D Dark uh, Junior Dose, um, <laughs> and uh, the, 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 the Lucha Bros, and uh, of course uh, Low Key, uh, and uh, uh, Rick and Martinez, and then uh, El Hijo del L.A. Park and L.A. Park. Uh, any, any others that I'm, that I'm missing? Um, I had Ultima Ninja a little bit. Okay. I represented Ulti Garza Ultima Jr. Ultima Ninja from before. The, the, the one from the, uh, he went to the Far East. Cy Cyber Ninja. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Cyber. Getting my, getting my wires confused. Definitely not Shredder. <laughs> well, that, that's Shredder. five words. Shredder. Uh, so, so, uh, what, what is it like to represent somebody like L.A. Park who is a true Lucha le legend? Well, what is it like? It's well, you know where I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting in front of a couple. Oh, right next oh. to Big Dave Meltzer. Exactly. <laughs> That's where I'm sitting. Oh, and it's honestly an honor. Uh -huh. It's an honor to be able to represent people that have been around for as long as I lived. Yeah. And they know the business inside and out. And I'm new, even though that I know clearly know what I'm doing. Even, <laughs> <laughs> even though I know what I'm doing, it's always great to know, like. What, what people with experience ha like have to say or whether their life has been or their experience with wrestling and it always adds up to what I'm doing. All right. Uh, you, you got some, uh, some big matches coming up. Uh, it's uh, WrestleMania week is what some people call it. I'd say MLW is maybe the, the, the main event. Yeah, we should uh, call it MLW week now. MLW week. Uh, so so we, we got some matches and of course uh, Impact Wrestling. Uh, you guys are, are making a I feel it's like Loki's just staring at me from the shadows right now. <laughs> we could just get a camera on that. It's, it's maybe the most impossible thing to ignore. Um, <laughs> He's tough security, all right. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Jack, why don't, why don't you do your thing and uh, let's, sell, let's sell some tickets. Absolutely, Bobby. On uh, this coming Friday, April 5th, the MLW Battle Riot, that will be held at the Melrose Ballroom, just over in Long Island City. And clients of Selena's Promociones Dorado will be taking on LAX. Oh! Ooh. Well, that, that, that's, at, uh, that's at the Impact Show. That's correct? Yes. And yeah, uh, tomorrow night at 11. you got to get your facts straight. Yeah. Oh. That's why I bring An announcer of the year. You won't be getting it this year, or next year. Or You're next year. Me on TV you can't fix that in a year. Bobby's retiring. I'm out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, let, let's throw it over the nobodies. We got a uh, uh, we, we got a, a photo here, and God, please be nice to these people. I'm both. <laughs> I'm both very scared and delighted. Yeah, I, well, First, well, we have to talk about your entrance look. Okay, yeah, we got some Givenchy happening. We have those shoes, shoes. like all this. The yeah. face is correct. The hair is correct. Like the, I mean. Obviously, representing again, like everything's great. This um, is all I want to look at. But like your uh, <laughs> the crush. game, uh, it's it's all perfection. Um, I mean, it's just trunks theory. What can we you? We don't want to talk say? about packages in front of him, but like also there's that. A plus, and then uh, <laughs> blue suit, uh, excellent uh, beard, shaped up nice, bald, good. I, I'm loving all this, and I'm not beard, just saying that, but because you could. Sunglasses. <laughs> what do your eyes look like? <laughs> You'll never find oh, out. Show your eyes. Show your eyes. Show your eyes. I'm staring contest. Excuse me? I'll accept the challenge. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking pretty good myself right now. I could talk you into some stuff. Whatever helps. Whatever helps you sleep at night, sweetheart. Oh. Whew. I'll teach you. I will sleep, sleep very night. well. <laughs> right after some activity. Um, <laughs> Do we have a, more pictures? Is that it? That's oh, it. Let, let's keep the show moving. We let's actually do. got some new challengers uh, coming out. Let, let, let's see who it is. Right. You are the 
reputed Hi, most dangerous man in wrestling. Hi, Jasmine. Right, that's right. Dolphins. What's even more nice dangerous than me is the two of us together. We're blood, money. Don't, don't say that, Jesse. <laughs> I'm bad blood, Brad. This is my boy, Ronnie Vegas. Ronnie Vegas. That's right. You heard of Vinny Vegas. I'm his stepbrother. That's right. You want to look at the bright lights, the pretty ladies. He walked down the strip. Guess what? Take a look at me. I'm making my own destiny. You want to exchange cash for chips that you will then use to play various games to hope to accrue some type of wealth. Well, guess what? I'm already wealthy with talent. So Bobby Blaze, you want to have a final match? I got one question. Is this your card? Yeah! He's, hold, he's holding up the Joker card. And Bad Blood Brad seems to be wearing sort of a Joker makeup. Why so serious, Brad? Well, what's serious is why I'm here tonight. I'm here to challenge Bobby Blaze to his last match. No, no, no. I will not wrestle this man. I will not wrestle this man. Okay, and you know what? There's a conspiracy. How many here want to see his last match against me? Bloody Bad Blood Brad tonight. <laughs> No. Why, ask him why they call him Bad Blood Brad. Don't ask him. And you know what? If you guys want to know why they call me Bad Blood Brad, it's because of this. The Athletic Gaming Commission tonight banned me from wrestling Bobby Blaze because I have hepatitis C. A a active. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Get them out of here. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. This Get isn't the next opponent. Is that an open here. sore? No, no. He's <laughs> bleeding out the nose. You know, oh, we're gonna oh, go to our neck. <clears throat> oh, gosh. You all right, bud? Do we have face masks? Yes. They're active <laughs> competitors is, here. Is there anyone else? No, not that easy to catch. I, oh, I, well, I have to, they're a duo, so I have to disqualify them both. Uh, oh, he's bleeding at the mouth. It's it's right, right. Oh, just you're bleeding at the mouth, too. Blood. Is why? It might be ginger whiteness. Is it? You know what? We got to go to our next guest. Give it up. Uh, straight from Catalina Island is Don Castle. This is wildly uh, underwhelming. This is great. <laughs> underwhelming! <laughs> underwhelming! Uh, underwhelming! Is everybody having the same, same uh, effect? <laughs> is this show having the same effect on everybody as it is on me? My beard is about to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> the man's beard's falling I, off. I can't help that. You're bringing out bleeding bad blood people. We put down a tarp. <laughs> I thought that was for wet works, but now I know it's for blood. That's good. <laughs> Look, I'm so, the show uh, kind of got off the rails a little bit hard, uh, but uh, I'm here with Dalton Castle, former Ring of Honor world champion. Yeah! Uh, I did it, y'all. I, I did apologize it. that we just have a normal uh, seat for you and not human uh, throne that you prefer. <laughs> Um, so, so uh, tell me, you got a you got a pretty big match coming up this uh, this weekend yourself. Huge! It's the biggest match of my week. I, uh, <laughs> I am looking for it. I'm gonna I'm getting in the ring. I'm gonna step in there with uh, with Roosh. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have ever seen this guy. Well, he's there. Oh, we got a game of thrones. Bobby, Bobby Blaze. <laughs> this is this is exciting. Like I. Well, we lack in microphones professionalism and uh, decent graphics and uh, tables and uh, uh, this, uh, what we have in this. Do you want to get on this? Do you want to get, get some of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, put, 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 come on, Dave. Come on. Come on, get some food up there. Oh, you're a fine autumn in you. What a good boy. Okay. <laughs> you're facing Roosh. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, so, what what does that mean to you? You're you're you're, uh, you're all in the independent scene technically, but you're wrestling in Madison Square Garden. That don't sound too uh, small town to me. That sounds like the big time. Well, I mean, technically, uh, all of us are on the independent scene. Uh, all right. Because I am my own man. I am my own person. Uh huh. But I've 
exclusively belong to one company. All right. So I'm not not quite following you there. All right, I'm done. So, uh, so like, what what is that? Have you have you always did you grow up in the well, Catalina Island? I suppose. Yeah. But uh, I'm sure you saw the, those MSG matches growing up. I did. We had uh, in Catalina. We had an old uh, television with the, the rabbit ears, uh -huh. and uh, every now and then we would get the Madison Square Garden uh, matches. But we also get some Southern wrestling, and I remember watching you. Yeah. And yeah. Wow, was I impressed! Like you were part of the reason I was like, I need to be a wrestler. <laughs> I was like, if that out of shape man <laughs> can get in that ring and do that. I mean, me, uh, a college athlete, can do it. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, you, you, you do have a, a, a pedigree uh, in, in sports uh, that, that you came, but uh, uh, Dalton Castle is a, a something quite more, very flamboyant. Um, more do we boy. have a, a photo of a Dalton Castle we could throw up? Uh, well. <laughs> the nobodies are over there. It doesn't look. <laughs> Wait a minute. That doesn't look like Dalton Cass. I don't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, what? So which one of those women is which missing a child? Which season of Arrested Development is this? <laughs> I thought it was the OC. It's um. <laughs> that couldn't be me. There's no mustache or soul patch. Oh, there's, yeah. there's a nascent beginning of such a thing. You're, it's still thinking about it. It's about to make its debut. Do we have uh, a photo of Dalton, uh, Dalton Cat? There we go. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's a little flamboyant for my tastes. But call them by I'm, just their a names. I'm just a simple girl. Yeah, call them by their names. Boy call one and boy two. Um, oh, the, boy, no, the boys are great. Listen, if I looked like that shirtless, I wouldn't wear clothes either. And like, you can with the right amount of steroids. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't give up their secrets. They're not here to defend themselves. They are three foot by three foot. Look at those guys. They're uh, they're delightful. You don't deserve them with that kind of trash talk. Um, you look all right. You're, this is okay. Um, there there are tweaks that I would make, but like we could talk about that backstage. It's this Did is you a take solid the moment. cape right out of the Party City bag? Oh. Oh. Or, Let's not end so party city here on the special without Brett Davis. Oh my goodness. You watch your mouth, Verica. Oh. All right? Yes. Those are ISIS wings straight from Amazon Prime. All right? Do I look like the kind of person that walks into a big box office store? No, I sit at home and click buttons. Well, you and Ariel have something in common. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I didn't read this that hard. I know what I'm wearing. Uh, I, like, now, now, I like the bodysuit. This area is nice. The um, streamers could be more feathers. I agree. Now, now, 100% agree. Back in the day, there's uh, exoticos. Yeah, hold uh, on a second. What are we doing with our lives? <laughs> we should be about, yeah. How did we Take get this here? Time. I've been asking myself the same question. <laughs> yes. so, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Exoticos, uh, flamboyant wrestlers, uh, they were often a joke or a villain, but you're a true hero. And I, I gotta respect that. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah. You know, uh, you're, not, you're not the only uh, historian here. We got the author of the WWE Encyclopedia, also biographies of Freddie Blassie and Ric Flair. Give it up for Keith Elliott Greenberg. More guests? More guests. Do I have to move? Oh, hello, hello so. brother. Welcome to the show. Thank Take a seat. Now oh, we got one free seat open. Keith, you you are a biographer. You've written uh, tons of books, a uh, whole encyclopedia on the history of WWE. Uh, I co-wrote it. Yeah. Co-wrote it. But, uh, take the glory, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is public access. Uh, so so um. Uh, what, what's the most interesting story that, that you've uh, uncovered? You, you've talked to Ric Flair and Freddie Blass. These are larger than a lot of people. Well, actually, today I was just having a discussion about a story that's in the Freddie Blassie book about Antonina Rocco's unusual endowment, which was uh, quite well known um, among the boys. Yeah. Oh, I, I think we discovered some unusual endowment for Loki <laughs> from the, the nobodies, right? <laughs> 
you keep throwing to him like he's not gonna spin kick your face off. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to compliment the man. Uh, I'm trying too hard. Books about Ric Flair. What's Superstar it? Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham. And the unpublished Iron Sheik autobiography. What happened oh. there? Uh, I, I never got a precise answer, but my assumption was that once the manuscript was passed around and people had a good laugh, they determined that it didn't really benefit the brand to <laughs> tell all those tales. <laughs> what is that brand exactly? Um, well, a, br a brand that uh, has sponsors mm -hmm. and, uh, and appeals to families uh, and puts enough. smiles on people's faces. I, I see, I see. Uh, so, and, you know, you. Your work is not limited just to world wrestling. You, uh, your first book was about uh, Menudo. It was the unauthorized inside story of Menudo, to oh. be precise. <laughs> I read it inside and out. Uh, what's, what's up with that? What's up with that? Did you just like Menudo a lot? Or? Um, I, was, I was living, I, I learned how to speak some Spanish watching wrestling here in New York on Channel oh. 47 and Channel 41. And the kids on the block where I lived were mainly Puerto Rican, and they were watching Menudo on TV, and mm -hmm. they were listening to Menudo records, and they had Menudo magazines. And I said, you know what? At the time, I think I was 23 years old, and I s said, I think I might be able to make some money off of this. <laughs> and did you? Um, probably the most money I ever made on a book. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fair enough. Uh, Aren't they still cycling people in and out of Menudo? Can you write a second one? Um, well, I think I think at this stage it would probably be the uh, the untold story. I mean, yeah. you said Promotionis Dorado. You, you represent all sorts of types. You know, maybe you could take Menudo under the wing. <laughs> we'll just take Menudo. Hop in, hop take in the van with you guys. Well, Menuditos. We could do uh, some mini Menudos. Definitely. <laughs> or, or Ricky, or maybe. If you have a singing career in your future, let's, we, we can make a whole new Menudo. I need you to shut up. All right. <laughs> uh, it seems like I got another challenger here. Let's see. Oh, this is this guy. Ah, this is an old friend of mine. Give it up for uh, Oak Tree Lee. Yeah. And every single time, I get interrupted by Harley Tucker. <laughs> but he is not here tonight. Bobby Blades, your last match. You're not just going down. You're going timber! Uh, uh, Bill Early. That's right, that's me. Well, you're, you're five minutes late, that's Bill Early. <laughs> the the, the, mis, mis, the mysterious mysti mis, yeah yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And Bobby Blaze, you said if I were uh, if I were early enough, I'd be here. And I I tell you yeah. what, Bill Early is just on time. No no no. You know what? Uh, uh, this is my match. You don't get to come show up whenever you want and demand a match. Now now Bobby's going to decide. Who is opponent? You know what? I've had enough of this. It's time to stop stalling. Bobby Blaze, I need you right now to decide who gets your last match. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. All right, well, uh, do, I, do I have uh, other challengers out here too? Just you guys? I'll put my mask on the line. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. You, you, did, you came out without the mask. <laughs> you were just a, a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, well, you know, I watched. It's, it's uh, um, Loses the mystique. Well, we're not on them. If I had to choose, if I had to choose somebody, I would choose.
the venereal delinquent, the incarcerated carnivore, the baddest motherfucker at Rikers Island, the skull fucker Harley Tucker. Fuck you. And you know what? I am also the face of criminal justice reform because de Blasio let me out, that's right. I got parole. But then, I want to go back. I want to get back in my cell. Shut down Rikers. Dad, yeah. No, keep it open, because I want to get back in. But if I want to get back in, I got to sin. Oh, maybe I'll do a little arson. Maybe I'll do a little public nudity. Or maybe it'll be a skull fucking murder. Murder? What are you gonna do, fish? What a, you think you're a WWE Hall of Famer? I mean, Show yes. up at Rikers Island and see what that fucking does for you, huh? <laughs> 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 Wrestling is a lot like a soap opera. What is this, The Young and the Wrestlers? You fucked up! 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 All right, what did you write today, folks?